My name is Robin Mayberry, and I made this. Um, I always wanted to be an artist, but I had an idea in my head from when I was uh, young that artists had to be able to draw something exactly, and I realized it came back from the, do you remember um, when you had to draw the pirate to get into art instruction school? <laughs> so I kind of got in my head that I couldn't draw the pirate, so I couldn't be an artist, and I stayed there for a long time. I, I became a writer instead, um, but I was always interested. Then I married an artist. And I was really just intrigued. I really fell in love with his art um, pretty early on. And then after being part of the whole um, art community for a while, going to the openings and watching his process and having magazines around and all this, uh, I was like, well, I'm gonna just start playing with this. And so I started off with just sort of paper arts and scrapbooking was really big. This is about 10 years ago now. <clears throat> so everybody had a scrapbook cutter and stuff. And I started playing with that. And it just sort of took off from there. It just organically began. I was like, well, maybe I could do this, and maybe I could add that, and maybe I could put some stamping in, and I could put some sewing, and I can dye it. And um, then I realized that's called mixed media. So um, basically anything I see, I start looking at it like, could I make something out of that? Could I turn this into something? So um, after I played with that for a while, I always had an interest in fabric. I come from a fabric family, um, a family of people who um, are really amazing embroiderers and this, they sew clothes and sew their own wedding dresses and all this. So um, that was my background, so it was sort of natural that I would get into that. And once I started playing with fabric, that is my favorite medium because it's so versatile. You can do so much with it and I just keep discovering more and more things that like, oh, you can rust dye it and you can use this kind of dye and you can leave it out in a bundle out in the yard and it does cool things and you can cut it up. And I love to use secondhand fabrics. I actually prefer to get fabrics from like Goodwill or yard sales or hand-me-downs or um, now that the word's out, I get boxes of like, you like fabric, you should have some of this. And I do, I love it because it's already has dimension and history and depth and so that's what I like to work with. So this piece right here, this piece is called Love Letters. Um, I actually made it, uh, my first solo show was here in Gallery One and I was so honored when Sarah Haven had her wedding up here, she asked me to make the artwork that would be behind her and I, that was incredible. So I made a bunch of work for that and this is one of the pieces that I made for that and I brought it here today because um, it really demonstrates a lot of what I enjoy about um, the art making process. So this is, a number of different techniques really kind of went into this. So all this writing on here is writing in ink on muslin and it's our wedding vows. So we wrote our own wedding vows. So um, every I got this huge piece of muslin and spent way too long writing our wedding vows. We're writing a wedding vows. And then I stamped it. I stamped these words that were sort of associated with love on it. Then I dyed it. Then I painted it. Then I cut it up. Then I sewed it um, and, and started the quilting process. Then there's some collaboration in here because my husband, Scott Mayberry, he drew the tree and the moon and um, on our wedding invitation, we had this tree with the moon. I don't know what we were thinking. We we're all hippies. So we did this tree and moon thing. So he drew it for me and then I machine stitched it and then did some more quilting and bound it. And I just love this piece, but it's, it's our, it represents so much about our married life. And, you know, only, only in fabric can you really do that. Can you play with all this kind of stuff and it's still resilient and it still just travels well and it still looks super cool when you hang it up on a black wall. So that's what I made there. So what I love about Gallery One is the community of people. I, am, I just feel so honored to be included with a group of people that Gallery One sort of brings into the mix and the art shows are just so terrific and the art events so we've got this confab thing coming up that i'm totally psyched about and the pop-up picnics and the the Payne ellensburg and the auction gallery stuff and then my kids go here and they went to the um see i'm like i'm a ridiculous fan because both of my kids have been gone have gone for years well, my daughter's still going my son is, has aged out of it but um, they've gone for years to art after school and they've just learned about, um, they just naturally incorporated what they learned here when they're making work and what they learned was to be creative. So they learned the structure of like, you know, 
perspective and shading and you know rendering and stuff like that but then they just learned to let it rip and they were so encouraged in all these years of being part of gallery one so you know that's huge that's going to affect them for the rest of their lives and we're an artist family that's really what we we so value that so that's huge for my kids and then i've just made all, just a ton of friends here there's just great people come here some of my favorite people in ellensburg sort of seem to be magnetized to this community so I love being part of it and I'm super excited about it.